a year ago today that I would actually be in university after taking that exam, I would not have believed you. Um, and I know people watching my channel who may be going to medical school this year would be interested to know what we actually get up to. It helps you to narrow down your accommodation choices so you see this is what medical school is sometimes like, it can be very work heavy. Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Lottie and today I'm going to be taking you on a day in my life as a first year medical student. So I have quite a busy day today. It's currently 7.22. I got up about an hour and a half ago and I got showered and dressed and now I'm just doing a little bit of work that is due in for today. So the plan for today is to keep doing some work at home, I'm gonna have breakfast, and then I've got a lecture from nine till 10. I could go in for that, but I'm gonna stay at home because I want to get coffee from my coffee subscription on the way to uni, and it doesn't open till a bit later. So that's the plan. And then I've got group work and some more lectures and stuff later on. So it should be quite a busy day, but hopefully a good one because we're actually in person, which is always nice. I've just come into the kitchen to make breakfast. I need to angle my phone really carefully in the kitchen because it's such a mess right now. Um, and yeah, I don't think it's a good, it's not setting a good example of uh, hygiene standards for university kitchens today. I bought these really tiny avocados and I think they're so cute and also way more convenient because whenever I eat an avocado, I'll leave half of it in the fridge and then I just won't fancy avocado for a couple of days, but then I don't want it to go to waste. So these tiny avocados are life changing. I just finished my breakfast and I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen and then I'm gonna go do a little bit more work before my lecture at night. I just looked at my Snapchat memories and it's a year ago today since I had the worst chemistry exam in my life. Honestly, this was our A-level um, COVID exam basically. And it was pretty much a full organic, well it was a full organic paper but with loads of like organic chemistry synthesis and honestly if you'd have told me a year ago today that I would actually be in university after taking that exam I would not have believed you. Yeah it was not a good time. I'm just taking my vitamins now. I always take a probiotic and a vitamin and this is like a really random tip, but for exam season, I really recommend taking some NeuroMind or Neurozan style neurological function vitamins for like the month running up to your exams. Um, just because you never know what you're actually missing that could be making a huge difference to your memory, your brain function, all of that. So that's a little exam tip to consider that you may need a better vitamin or a vitamin if you don't take any. I just finished my lecture and now I'm gonna go grab a coffee because I literally feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. I think before that I may I need to add a few layers to my outfit because when I woke up this morning the sun was shining it was so nice and now look at this yeah it's not nice and it's cold and I thought it was gonna be really warm today so that's disappointing um but anyway it just means I'll get a hot coffee instead of a cold coffee I guess I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do about lunch I'm still debating whether 
attempt to put something together from the things I have and take it with me or just get a meal deal on the way. And I am kind of leaning towards the meal deal, I can't lie. I've just finished getting ready and as much as I love a meal deal, I've just remembered that I've got loads of hummus and pitters and cheese and stuff that does need to be eaten. So unfortunately, no meal deal for me today. Um, but I mean, pitters and hummus, you cannot go wrong. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go sit on some grass, drink my tea, get some sun, um, and then go get some food. I'm currently in the process of getting unready and I thought I would just mention what I actually did in my group work today because I realized I didn't explain what that was about. Um, and I know people watching my channel who may be going to medical school this year would be interested to know what we actually get up to. So the group work today, it seemed a bit advanced to be honest for first year, but we were basically going through like resuscitation of babies. And then we did a little bit of a, like how to use a speculum. So it was all about obs and gynae. Um, we learned how to do an internal examination. So we got to use the mannequins and like, um, feel for the cervix the uterus things like that and yeah learn how to use the speculum which i'm left-handed and i got really confused with the right-handed demonstration uh we did a couple of questions and then we watched like the stages of labor and then we got given like a pelvis and a baby and we could practice basically the pelvis was open and then putting this baby doll through and twisting it and stuff so it was actually really fun it was super interesting but they did keep telling us that there was things that we just didn't need to know at this point. So I'm pretty sure we're going to revisit all of that. I think it's fourth year where you do those things in more detail. And it's more like the OSCE style stuff. But it was really nice to get to have an opportunity to try some of the more clinical things. Um, and it was fun to be doing it all in person. And like we had little workstations set up with all the different equipment. So it did feel more doctory as opposed to just talking about the theory and just watching videos. So I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and it was a nice way to split up a day of just lectures. So it is currently 10, 10 o'clock and I've just finished a three hour meeting with my work. So, well, kind of work related slash some projects I'm getting involved in. So it was a really productive meeting. We got a lot of things done, lots of ideas shared. And yeah, before that I was, as I took a couple of videos of, I was chilling on the grass in the sun, which was so nice. Then I went up, had a little bit of dinner and did a tiny bit of work. And then I had my meeting from seven. So it was kind of, that was like the bulk of my evening. And now I'm just gonna get ready for bed because it's way too late to do work now. I have thankfully the whole day off tomorrow, which is really nice. So I'm gonna get a load of revision done tomorrow and just prioritize getting into bed and getting some sleep now. I think tomorrow as well, I might wake up and do a nice walk because I've been sat for a long time now and I feel like I do need to move my body. So I think that's what I'll do in the morning. But thank you so, so much for coming along on my day. As you can see, this is what medical school is sometimes like. It can be very work heavy and that's okay because there is days where I have much more chill days. Like tomorrow I have nothing, so I'll, I'll have a lot more balance in my day, thankfully. So this isn't a reflection of every day. This is just one of the more busy days. And I'm glad that it could be realistic because it's really important to me that I make these videos and my life look as realistic as possible 
um, because it's not always super productive. I'm not always doing loads of exercise, having, you know, balanced life every single day. Sometimes it's lots of work like today, other days like tomorrow, it will be a little bit more chill, a little bit more balanced. With the note of having some busier, more productive days, and obviously these days can be quite stressful, I just wanted to mention Amber student accommodation because I know a lot of the people watching my videos are in the years below and are looking at applying to university this year or have already applied to university and are now in the process of looking for accommodation. So I'll pop a link in my description. Amber Student is a really helpful website that helps you to narrow down your accommodation choices. So you can put in your university or the city that you're looking at applying to, and then it will show you loads of different filters and it can help you pick the perfect accommodation that's right for you. I really wish I'd known about this when I was looking for accommodation because going through all the different websites and looking at all the different pages was really difficult, especially when I didn't really know what I was looking for and one thing that I really love about their website is that they have some certain like COVID policies and just things to help you with the booking process and make it a lot easier and another really helpful thing is that there's it shows you like the location where you want to be which can be so useful when you don't really know where anything in the city is so at least you can see where all the different accommodations are and then compare it to like a google maps or the map of the university. So that can be really, really helpful. So do check out Amber Student. As I said, I'll pop the link in my description and yeah, have a look at it. And I'm sure it will really help you with narrowing down your accommodation and just taking away that massive stress because university, applying to university is one thing, but the stress of sorting out your accommodation is just a whole other thing that when you're applying, you don't really think about because you're so caught up in all the stress of trying to get the perfect university, but perfect accommodation makes such a big difference as well. And you're gonna be living there for a year, so you want to make sure that you're really happy in that location. So that's all for today. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Mm -hmm.